So now in Excel, what we're dealing with is this idea of functions. And you might remember this symbol from math class, this f of x. Very, very daunting. And you might remember its counterparts, say, for example, uh, g of x and h of x. Uh, scary. What, what do they mean? Again, this f, this f right here, this refers to what's known as my function name. And that's just my way of referring to this particular function. Instead of it being f or g, they're all unique to each other, and they all have different tasks. This guy right here, this is known as my parameters, because again, I might want to do something like f of uh, four. Now, what happens when I do f of four? You know, it's whatever it's designed, but say for example, f was uh, that I take whatever my parameter was and I add two to it. So f 10, for example, would be 12. Again, that doesn't sound pretty useful, especially since we're dealing with Excel. And in Excel, we still see the same structure, but we see it in more practical uh, form. We see something like the sum function. And the sum function, that's my function name right there. And then I have the parentheses. I have these to indicate where my parameter starts and where my parameter ends. So now again, if I were to type in, say, a1 colon a4, what this is referred to right here is what is known as a cell range. And again, it just means that I'm going to take this parameter, this a1 to a4, take all the numbers that are inside of those cells and add them together. So let's actually kind of put that into a more practical application side of things. Let's say, for example, I have 5, 6, 7, 8 inside of a1 to a4. Now again, if we take a look at that formula, sum a1 to a4. Now the first thing I have to do is I have to start with the equal sign. The equal sign, again, in Excel is telling Excel this stuff that I'm about to type in. This is something I need you to evaluate. I need you to calculate this out. And as I start to type this out, you see that Excel already has a autocomplete function for me. So I can start to uh, take this, and as you can imagine, if I put in my parentheses, I can start to go a1, a1, colon, a4. Notice it highlights it all for me. As soon as I close my parentheses and I hit enter, what I get is 26. If I change any one of these numbers, it will change it as well. And so we have a few of those. As you can imagine, again, if I hit equals, and this time I go a v. Notice what happens. I get uh, a, a, V, Dev, A, Average, Average, A, Average, If, Average, Ifs. I'll just click on Average. Again, you can see it gives me a little brief description. Returns the average arithmetic mean of its operators. Well, again, I said that this was like autocomplete. So what that means is I can double click on this. And it's going to automatically put the rest out there for me, which is really nice. Now, what I can actually do is I can click, hold, and drag A1 to A4. And that's going to display, or it's going to highlight all of them. And if I close out my parentheses, I can now find out the average of all of these.